My name is David Bell. Most of my friends and family call me DJ. I came to City Life to fill a void in my life, a void that I so well fed with alcohol and drugs and improper living. Before I came to City Life, my life was uh, a complete mess. I mean, it was a complete mess. Uh, I was a homeless veteran, uh, dependent on alcohol. I couldn't function without having a half pint to a pint of alcohol in me. Um, I was staring at a divorce. My family didn't want anything to do with me. Um, just two years ago, I wasn't even allowed in my own house for Christmas. Um, I've been living on the streets of Fort Worth for a couple of years. Uh, I mean, I've skipped around homelessness, you know, for a while. Uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico, you know, living on the streets there. Moved out to West Palm Beach, got a job, started drinking again, ended up on the streets. Uh, been to rehab five times. It's, my life didn't look good. Well, when I exited the military, um, I was trying to feel a lot of, feel a lot of pain and uh, loneliness. Um, I didn't know, didn't have anywhere to turn. Uh, alcohol was really the only thing that was, that I thought at the time was there for me, where nobody else was. I started using and drinking a lot before I joined the military when I was in high school. I got my first DWI when I was 18 years old. And then I joined the military and it was just, it was all over after that. It was parties all the time, partying, drinking all the night, or every night, all night. Uh, and then when I got out, it, it just kept going and it got, got worse. My breaking point was June 23rd, 2017. Uh, I had met a gentleman, a drug dealer, and I was able to stay a couple nights, or he actually invited me to live with him, but um, I only I choose, chose only to stay a couple nights with him, a couple nights at the shelter, a couple nights on the street. Well, this particular night, June 23rd, he had, uh, I'd gotten out of work, gotten off work, gone over to his place, and he had gone out for the night to work. And, you know, I stayed back at his apartment for his house. And you go in the kitchen, you turn on the lights in his house, it was, it was uninhabitable, uninhabitable, period. You turn on the lights in the kitchen and the roaches would just scatter. Uh, he had a dog that he kept in his bathroom, locked up in the bathroom 24 seven. And it was just overran with feces and urine. I had to take, I had to wear my socks just to take a shower. And uh, I sat down on that couch that night, June 23rd, and looked around and just lost it. I turned on 94.9 and um, I cried. I cried, I hit my knees, I hit my face and just, I, I let go of everything. I surrendered my life to God and just cried and laughed and it, it was an experience that I can never, never even try to put a feeling or emotion on. It was just so real, so raw. Week following that night, I was accepted into Patriot House over by uh, Presbyterian Night Shelter. It is a veterans transitional living place. And then once I got into the Patriot House, uh, I decided to take a different approach than what I had done in the past. That I, I really started watching my mental diet. I didn't listen to anything, watch anything, read anything of the anything that was of secular in nature. You know, I listened to nothing but Christian music. I read the Bible, I listened to sermons online. I didn't watch the news, I didn't watch football. I mean, I just completely dove in to the promises of God. It was a couple months after that that uh, my wife and I started talking to him, started seeing each other again. I started seeing the girls and things started moving up. I've tried AA, I've tried the 12-step programs at different rehab centers and uh, none of that worked for me. I, I went to Alcoholics Anonymous, I worked the steps, I had a sponsor and it didn't work for me. So I knew I knew that, that I needed to have a suitable substitute for alcohol and drugs and, and poor living. And uh, I knew that I had seen through Teen Challenge, through living, working the program in Teen Challenge that my answer, the void that I had in my heart was for Jesus. I knew that if I had any chance of survival or any chance of a life that's worth living, then it would I'd have to get plugged into a church and just dive head in. I could say right now for the first time in my life that I actually love my life. And it's not perfect, not by any stretch. But my wife and I, uh, we're working, the Lord is restoring our marriage. Life is beautiful when you're following God's will. And the reason why I say that life is beautiful right now is because I know right now I am smack dab in the middle of God's will. I've been accepted into Southwestern Baptist Theological Seminary for a start date of fall of this semester, or excuse me, fall semester 2018 I see great things great things working for the kingdom